Xbox. One to one. Hey guys, so uh, finished work. It's about 7.45 now. I'm in Chinatown, Mosque Street. Gonna meet some friends for dinner. Hi. Okay, we are done with dinner. Where are you? Okay, so we are done with dinner. Yo, Where yo. are we going next? Oh, we are going to eat and get fat. <laughs> Where? Where? Chinatown is very famous. Chinatown is very famous. Chinatown is very famous. Chinatown Please hit me. Okay, so we follow you. Are you lost? Bring to the wrong <laughs> yeah, 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 there, there. Confirm, confirm. <laughs> she lazy, lazy ass. Always no walker, no like to walk. Always can. Pay yourself, pay yourself. What is it? What is it? She is pure. Liu Ku is a pure. Oh! <laughs> Oh, I caught that. <laughs> is it the dessert shop <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Nobody knows. This is hot, hot, hot. Good, Bye 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 um, but I'm pretty sure that the time will come. So, but today, just a quick sharing on um, what happened after I came back. Um, backstory, three years in Beijing, mid-2009 till 2013. It was, uh, I would think that that's the best time of my life. Nothing that I could do in Singapore would give me that chance to learn 
so much about life. That was about 10, 11 years of uh, my musical journey since I started when I was 18. So I spent about 11 years of my life, the last three years in China. And then when I came back in 2013, I had nothing. Zero. So do you know how it feels like to put in 10 years of your life and you end up with nothing? Back then, I told myself two ways that things are going to happen. First thing, I quit. Second choice is I pick myself up and I start all over again. Although I had nothing when I came back in 2013, I had a plan. I wanted to do everything for myself on my own. That was the moment that I realized I don't want to rely on anyone else to make my dream come true. I do not want to rely on anyone anymore. I need to make things happen. I need to make what I want happen. So I think that was the point of the realization. Of course, I think I, I, I kind of knew that before I made the decision to pack up three years worth of stuff and whatever I've been working on in China and come back. I came back and I wanted to do my album, my songs, music videos and everything on my own. Of course, I'll find help, but I'll be the one that will drive this vehicle. I will not let anyone stop me, direct me to go somewhere else that I don't want. Jackie was a long time friend. We, we learned singing together back then. That was about 10 years ago. So I, I, I happened to meet him on the streets. I don't know why there's so many friends but I to catch up with, but I just met him on the streets. So it's all fated. He wanted to do his own album. I want to do my own album, so I thought, why not, let's do it together. We can share resources, we can encourage each other, advice and uh, suggestions and all. So we did, and we started making our music, making our music videos, and then we got it distributed by Ocean Butterflies, and, and the rest is history. And then, that was the time where I felt the power of having control over my own life. It's not about having the freedom to do anything that you want. Doing anything that you want sounds very aimless and meaningless, but that's not the point. It's more of having a dream, a goal, a target, and then you take on the responsibility. No one but yourself, you make it happen. And I started this company that you see on my vlog, I go in almost every day. And it started off with um, Jackie, as my first uh, co-founder. And to date, our company has grown to a six-man team, six partners. And it's a huge deal for me. I just want to say that three years ago, I came back with nothing. Now I have something. I am thankful for everything that I have right now. I have a company and I have a company of friends and partners. We share the same vision and they are all great talents. And I believe that the potential is huge. I'm thankful that I'm able to go to work every day. I'm thankful that I have partners fighting this war with me. Basically, I'm thankful that I'm not doing nothing. So I could be working 12 hours a day and, and the rest of the 6 hours editing these vlogs. And yes, I have people around me saying I'm crazy, I'm gonna overwork myself. But what's driving me forward is that I remember the day when I came back to Singapore with nothing. 